Good morning, teachers and students. Today is Monday, November 30th. We welcome you to Most Holy Trinity Catholic School this morning. We are glad all of you are here with us. Advent began yesterday. It is a time to prepare for the birth of Christ. During these next four weeks, we will do special prayers and activities to help us prepare for Christmas. One of the activities we will do is the Advent wreath. We use the Advent wreath to pray and help us remember what Jesus taught us to do. There are four candles on the wreath. Each candle represents a week in Advent. Since Advent began yesterday, we will light one candle each day this week to represent the first week of Advent. During the first week of Advent, we focus on hope. Hope is very important to all of us. Do you know someone who doesn't do all their work? gets way behind and gives up on doing it? This person has lost hope in doing well in school. Have you ever played on a team that was way behind in the score and decided just to give up? That's because they lost hope in winning. Before Jesus was born, it was hard for the people to have hope. They had been conquered by many different people, including the Egyptians, the Babylonians, and the Romans. Those who believed in God still had hope that the Messiah was coming. On Christmas Day, we celebrate the arrival of Messiah Jesus. We continue to do this because we have hope in God's love for us. Will everyone please stand and join me in prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, as we wait for your coming, Help us to not be afraid and to trust in you. As we light this candle, we remember that you bring the light of hope into our lives. May your word be always in our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts. Amen. If God is for us, who can be against us? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you, everyone. You may be seated. I want to begin the week by wishing happy birthday to Antonio Loya in third grade. Happy birthday, Antonio. We hope you enjoy your special day. Boys and girls, we are now getting close to Christmas. We know that many of you have nativity sets at home. One of the things that we would like to do to celebrate Christmas is to have you take a picture with your nativity set at home. If you could send the pictures to your teacher, who in turn will send them to me. We are going to make a nice video like we did for the Veterans and for All Souls Day. I hope all of you will send the picture because we would like to have every family in our school in this video. Please let your parents know you need to take care of this as soon as you can. Thank you so very much for doing this. Also, all of you that have been here with us know that we also have a posada every year. Our Christmas posada is very special because we tell the story of Jesus' birth, and we make sure that every student is part of the program. Now, we can't do a live posada this year, but we can still do one virtually, and we would like still like to have everyone participate. We want everyone to dress in character for the posada. As you can see, these were some of our pre-K students from last year who dressed as sheep in the stable. We also had many students dressed as angels or as townspeople. Your teachers will tell you what parts you should dress for. We would like for all of you to dress in character. Your parents take a picture of you and send it to your teachers. We will take all of these pictures and create our Christmas posada with them. We hope all of you will participate. We have several things going on here this week. 
Our room parents will meet Tuesday at 6 p.m. This will be a virtual meeting. We will say the family rosary Thursday at 6 p.m. We are inviting all fifth and sixth grade families to participate. I want to thank all the families who have participated so far. We have had a lot of people say the rosary together, and I am very happy to say that. Fifth and sixth graders, please be sure to invite your parents. Tell them to watch for the link that I will send on Wednesday. We will have Mass on Friday. Please remember to wear your dress uniform. Don't forget Mass next Sunday, 10 a.m. for Most Holy Trinity on Facebook, 8 and 10 a.m. for Blessed Sacrament on YouTube, and 11 a.m. on the CW with Bishop Sites. Please be sure to hear Mass and actively participate. Let's set the best example for those around us. This concludes our announcements for today. And one more thing. If you have given up hope with your schoolwork, don't. Your teachers and I are here to help you. Please let us know how we can help you. And go ahead and start getting your work done again. Let's see if you can raise those grades. And if you think that you have been very bad, and you think there's no way God would ever forgive you, that's just not so. Remember, Jesus came to live among us and he died for us to have us forgiven for our sins. That was the reason for his birth. So in this Christmas season, let's think about what you're doing wrong. Let's try to do better. And again, offer to God your contrition. Say an act of a contrition, tell me very sorry. Get the confession as soon as you can. And let's get your hope back. Because once you have hope, you have a lot of things to look forward to. Everyone, let's be safe. Let's have a blessed week.